What's up, homies? Today's video, I'm going to show y'all one of my tactics for going after eater sized catfish. Eater sized catfish, in my opinion, is anything from one pound to just under five pounds. The river I'm going to today is the Hatchie River. It's a downsized version of the Mississippi, basically. It's got a lot of current to it, it's super muddy, and the water level rises and falls with the drop of a hat. It has all three major species of catfish in it, channels, flatheads, and blues. I'm also going to try to show you all the spots that I look for in, in small rivers like this. Um, you look online, the only thing everybody wants to say is look for bends or look for breaks in the water. Well, like a river like this, if you try to fish the bends, all you're going to do is get snags. Every bend has a 300-year-old oak tree laying in it and a whole lot of current. So your bait's just going to wind up snagged up in a tree if you can even find anything to anchor or tie off to. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I look for at spots that's paid off for me in the past. Maybe it'll help some of you guys out. Let's go fishing. My favorite setups to use for these smaller catfish is just old bait casters or spinning reels that I've retired. You use heavy setups and you catch these small fish, man, it takes all the fun out of it. You can get you some old bait casters or spinning reels with 14 pound mono on it, you catch two or three pound, even four or five pound catfish and river current, it's a lot of fun. This is really the first time this year the river's been low enough where I can put in and halfway fish it super super muddy river i was really hoping i could catch some brim this morning to use as cut bait but i had a, a little snag in my plans and maybe i get lucky and catch something little a little gar or a little catfish i might cut it up and try to use it cut bait see if i can't catch me a big fish if not maybe i can boat me some eaters fill up the freezer a little bit right now i'm using chicken liver on two poles and night crawlers on another one setting up in a spot I've caught catfish before. All it is is a, a tree that fell down right here and it's kind of making a little block in the flow. Hoping some catfish are hiding right here. Get out of the current a little bit. Fish this spot for about 15 minutes. No bites, move on down to the next spot. He is just about bait size. We'll put him in a live well. Let me think about it. I ain't never used a catfish for bait before, but I've seen people do it. This ought to be a good time to catch a flathead, so why not give her a shot? There's the eater size. No 
Number three. Man, that's about perfect for eating. Easier to clean, won't dull your knife all up, and you get good fillets out of it. More spots I like to look for on rivers like this is where the current has eroded little coves in the side of the bank. I got one right behind the boat and another one right past it. I like to cast kind of right in front of these little coves. I think catfish like to kind of sit up in it because it blocks a lot of the current. So next time you're at a river, if you can find spots like this, give them a try. They work out for me nine times out of ten. First little blue cat of the day. Really too small to keep, to eat at least, but I might relocate this guy. Let me show you guys the setup I'm using today. I have got a 14 pound mono. And I got a sinker slide with a two ounce sinker. Bead. A swivel attached to my Leader lines, 25 pound mono with a 5 aught team catfish. I think these are octopus hooks. I like the 5 aught octopus hooks for uh, catching these eater sized catfish. I got a catfish on right now. Another little eater size blue. Maybe it's a little small. <laughs> That's one of them little guys that will fin the living doo-doo out of you if you don't watch it. I missed every bit of that, didn't I? Dang. That's a pretty good channel cat right there. Wouldn't you believe I don't have my scale with me? I might have to take this one home and uh, weigh him and then relocate him. He is biting the mess out of my finger right now. Oh, golly, tore my finger up. I'll try to get a picture with him. He might try to flop out the boat. He is not being nice right now. Ooh, he's biting the mess out of me. Ow. Dang. And this guy ended up being my personal best channel cat at 10 and a half pounds on the dot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe got something out of it. Nothing else, a 10 and a half channel cat will bite the fire out of you. As always, I really appreciate it. All the likes, all the comments. 
and I will see you on the next one.